Okay, today I'm going to be showing you this Joji Mac uh, dog bike leash. Uh, so this does have a little metal mount that goes onto the bike. Um, I put mine underneath the handlebars. That's where they have it pictured on the box as well. Um, so that seems to be the best place to mount it. That way if they are pulling um, or if they get distracted and kind of dart some way, you can kind of better you know steer and balance um, rather than putting it like under the seat or towards the back. If they pull, that's just going to kind of make you spin. So having it at the front is a nice place to mount it. Um, it is this nice thick metal kind of like double uh, moon shape that comes together and then you bolt together. So it does go very securely on the bike. Um, I left it on my bike because I didn't want to take it apart and reinstall it. I'm just leaving it on there once it's really tightened um, to just kind of keep those threads nice and strong. Uh, but I do have the rest of the um, bike mount. Uh, you have this little key and moon shape again. Uh, this lets you slide into the mount on the bike and then you can put this little key down that goes through both the mount and this pole kind of lock it into place so that way it's not going to slide around too much. It has a little bit of give but it's very small nothing too noticeable. Uh, then you have this U shape and a spring. So the way that the spring is installed is it's actually um, a screw on it screws on quite a bit but there are teeth on this part there's three little teeth that kind of grip in between the spring uh, so you do just have to twist it on um, so that way if there is some pooling it's not going to come apart or anything like that um, but again when they're pooling this spring does give quite a bit um, so that way if they do pull just a small amount, uh, you're not wiping out, your bike's not, you know, yanked to the side. Um, if they are not leash trained and they really bolt, um, it can pull your bike down. So you definitely want to make sure that you're not riding at full speed. You want to ride at a medium pace to let your dog kind of jog um, and run. So it's just kind of a nice way to get them exercise and to keep them with you and allow you to still ride your bike. Um, it does come with this kind of shortened leash which is nice because it keeps it, your dog pretty close to your bike. Um, that way you're not having to worry about holding a leash or anything like that. The mount itself does that for you. Um, it's pretty strong. It's kind of your standard um, fabric, your like knitted fabric that any kind of like dog leash or collar from like Walmart or PetSmart's made out of. Um, it's, it's definitely that normal material if you've ever bought in one of the Walmart, or again, PetSmart leashes, you know what fabric that is, you know what it feels like, you know the strength of it. So it's pretty durable, it's pretty good. Um, it does uh, hang pretty high off the ground. Um, that might just be where I mounted it and my bike specifically, um, but it is, you know, it is pretty high up. We have a Doberman Boxer, so she's tall enough um, that this is no problem. But if you are taking maybe a smaller dog that does like to run or that can at least jog, if you're going at a very slow biking pace, um, this might be a little too tall for them. You might just need to get a little bit longer of a leash for this, um, which i doing a couple searches online, doing a clip to clip dog leash. I found a bunch of examples on there. So if you do need a longer one, they are available. Uh, it is pretty solid. I mean, I can put a lot of force into this and it's not bending, it's not giving. Um, again, with the spring, you can put a lot of force into it, but then it goes back to true. Um, so that spring is nice and strong. Because the coils are nice and thick, you know that it's not gonna bend super easily, it's not gonna snap. Um, this, even this pole that's kind of on the thinner side, you know, it is still that thick metal all the way through. Um, it has like a paint over it, so it's not like a plastic coating with a thin wire. It's solid wire with a thin coat of paint. Um, so you are definitely getting a nice durable product. Um, again, I tested this where I was pulling on the spring to see if those little teeth or threading would come undone. And it hasn't. I mean, like I said, I can put my full strength into this and the spring doesn't budge at all. So you don't have to worry about this falling apart while you're using it. Um, again, if you have a very strong dog, very big dog, or a dog that's not leash trained, you might want to work on that before jumping right to this because it's going to affect you on your bike more than it's going to affect the dog or the product. Um, so if you are interested, this is nice and durable. We did about a two block ride 
um, you know, you get to learn how fast you can ride to let them, you know, run. You don't want to make sure you want to make sure that they're not overrunning, you're not overworking them, especially if it's hot out, you don't want to be running them for a long time. But this is a nice way for you to get exercise and to allow your dog to run. Um, if you have maybe no backyard or a smaller yard and they can't really run normally, um, getting a bike and taking them to a local park to bike around, this is a great way to attach that to your bike and make it safe for you and your dog. So again, if you're interested, this is the um, GeoJMACT dog bike mount. I'll leave a link down below. Please check it out.